Ooh. Hey there! I'm finally back from my week of vacation and I got a story to tell you. Well, actually, to show you. Let's talk about it. Hi everybody, this is Luke. While some of you already know my plans, I know from my YouTube statistic that the most part of you are watching my stories for the first time. That's why I need to give you a little bit of context before starting. If that's the case, this is also the right moment to subscribe to the channel. If you want to jump directly to the content instead, just go to the menu that will be shown down here. I spent the last 7 days in my hometown, the place where I was in the spring of 2020. During that lockdown I was busy building my second ever e-bike with the Bafang BBS-02B 500W mid-drive kit. You can check out the full story in the upper link. Why that bike was really good in terms of performance, mostly thanks to the mid-drive kit itself, it wasn't the ideal solution to commute for long distances. For this reason, as I explained at the end of that video, I wanted to change the bike. I found the perfect replacement that matches all the specs I was looking for. I don't want to spoil you anything, you're going to watch it soon in this video. By the way, it was also the right moment to start using my brand new 360 camera. This video is not sponsored at all, I had to buy this camera myself, but the investment met all the expectations. For your information, it's an Insta360 ONE X2. It allows you to shoot full 360 degrees video, like this one, link up here. But it also allowed me to make this great shooting while driving the e-bike. You're going to see that too. Ok, enough talking, just sit back, relax and enjoy the frame replacement on my 500W Bafang build. I'll see you again in the third part of this video.
Ok, time to show you the result. The total replacement time was 3 hours and a half, divided in sessions between 20 to 40 minutes. The only setting I need to change on the motor's display was the wheel size, which is now 27 inches instead of 26. Now, before our first ride, let's take a moment for a closer look at the new build. The base frame is a class RAD23 tracking bike. This frame is lighter than the old one and it makes this build perfect to commute for long distances. As I said in a previous video, the cable management is completely inspired to my 750W Bafang build, with all the cables rooted between the motor and the bicycle central stand. Inevitable is the presence of the headlight with the horn. Check out the upper link if you want to know more. We got full front suspensions and also the support for disc brakes, which is mechanical on the front, equipped with a brake sensor, and hydraulic on the rear, free from sensors. On the handlebar I have the same setup as the previous build, including the P850C display. And for the pedals I decided to keep the stock ones and reserve the foldable ones for the old frame. I can't wait to rebuild it using the Tongsheng motor. During my last day of vacation the weather was good enough for the first ride. Driving this bike seems to be a completely new experience compared to the previous one. I'm not talking in terms of speed, but having a wider shifting range makes all the difference in the world. Another improvement that is worth mentioning is related to the wheels. It's not only the inch gain that makes a difference, but also the increased width of the tires that gives the bike more grip, especially on irregular paths like this country road. Riding the old build was already a lot of fun. But this little experiment showed me how important it is to choose the right bike when building your own e-bike. If you can't afford the right bike now, you can do the same thing I did and save money for a better one in the future. One thing where changing bike will not help you in any way is, unfortunately, the wind. This day was free from rain and clouds, but it was showing 35 km per hour of strong wind. In this open area I was stuck at 25 km per hour, with the motor pushing at its full power. Hey guys, now that the weather is finally clearer, I had the opportunity to make the full test drive of the new e-bike with the old motor. Apparently the maximum speed and the total range are exactly the same as before, and I was expecting it. What has changed is the overall driving experience, thanks to the new frame. I feel the bike more stable and the shifting is more consistent because now I have 9 speed instead of 7 on the old frame. Of course, that's the return of the rear basket. I know a lot of you expected that. Now this took a little bit of time, but from a personal point of view I can say that driving the bike now is way more pleasant. And that's the reason why, for me, all this time was totally worth it. But what do you think? Would you have done the same? If you like this video, feel free to hit the like button, knowing that the story is not ended yet. The one last thing I need to do once I receive the Tongsheng 500W midrash kit is to reinstall it on the old red frame. So be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that story. That's it so far, thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one.